Personally, to me, I really found it very, very relevant and timely for me, particularly because I'm heading media and risk team, and it is very, very important to know about uh, media literacy. Ever since the uh, pandemic started, I was uh, delegated as one of the media team, the national corporate media team. That's when I actually had to uh, really work on media contents. And I wish this, I had this training a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, because whatever the Ministry of Health uh, was releasing to the social media or in any other platform, you could have used the tools and techniques that we were taught today. So I think uh, it would have helped us disseminate ideas in a more professional um, manner. Um, I think, uh, which is why I think even for now, because uh, we know that the pandemic is still not open, mm -hmm. and we never know how the situation will turn out in the future, so I think we, are, we, we would still be working for the media, and uh, this is uh, very helpful. We'll be media nomads, as you said, <laughs> to uh, be more careful about what we consume and what we share and produce. We actually experience fake news first, and we, we try to tackle it up in our own customized ways. We should actually have a checklist now, I realize, to see if that really qualifies to be a proper news or a fake news. Mm -hmm. Being a health worker, we have very little knowledge about media, so this training was very informative. Moreover, I, to be honest, I really had no idea like how to look at a news or how to read a newspaper with a journalist background before posting. It's very, very important to verify source and then also validity and uh, especially I get checking errors, spelling errors and not posting whatever you cannot say to somebody's face, not being biased, you know, share a very transparent, uh, unbiased information and timely information. Basically as a consumer of social media, especially I'm a person who always looks up for news in Facebook, so I believe that after this training, it enlightened me to think that we should not believe whatever we see. Before I share it or reshare, do anything with the news, I need to really read between the lines whether this news has all the um, uh, elements that uh, needs to uh, have in the news. Uh, say, for example, the accountability, the verification, and, the, and authentication. Before sending out information, uh, we, we really need to also consider the audience, target audience, and then accordingly prepare uh, the writer. So as a producer of the content, we usually often get biased to one, uh, one's own opinion or whatever you are doing. But looking at it through the lens of the person on the other side or organization on the other side, that had some way skipped my mind mm -hmm. or maybe I had not even considered or thought about it. But uh, with this training, I really empathize with the journalists mm -hmm. because we are often, uh, when we do our work and we have to deal with the reporters, we often usually blame the reporters, saying that they have misreported this, they have not checked their facts, well. but then now I really get it that reporters too have that they, have, they struggle to get information even from officials like us. Although we try our best, that aspect now gives a, an overall picture of the communication system mm -hmm. where one is the creator and others are also equal participants. I, mean, I will not say for particular group, but I feel everybody should attend. All sectors, government, non-government, and particularly even those who are working in uh, uh, mainstream media. I personally feel like this training would be very instrumental and uh, something that we must inbuilt in our present uh, curriculum. So parents need this kind of training. It uh, will be our I mean, volunteers, especially uh, taxi driver volunteers. Mm -hmm.